Welcome back. This is our second tutorial about the on error routine. In this tutorial, I'm going to make the on error routine a little more user friendly by incorporating the if else statement. All right, let's start out by cleaning our code. Let's declare another variable, dim a, as integer. And I'll initialize it with a value of 1. My next question, which statement gets embedded within the if statement? I've got two choices. Here's the statement where the error occurs. And down below is the error handling routine. Well, the answer is we're going to work with the error handling routine. And at the end of this video, I'll show you why. First, let's bring in the if else statement. And let's delete this extra text here. Let's say if a is less than 3, then the user will see the message box with the error description. In the next line, I'll type a equals a plus 1. And I'll copy this line of code and paste it here. Let's change the message here. Sorry, program will now close. And the next line will be exit sub. Let's change the message here. Attempt number. And let's get variable A in there. Let's tighten up the code a little bit. So the routine works like this. If the error doesn't occur, the program will perform the computation, display the message box with the result, and exit. But if the error occurs, then we go to the error handling routine. If the number of attempts, A, is less than 3, then the user will see this message box with an error description. In the next line, a equals a plus 1. Next is the resume statement, and that'll execute, giving the user another attempt. Let's run our code and see how it works. Type in some text to get an error message. Click OK. Attempt number 2. Another error. OK. And attempt number 3. Let's click OK. Sorry, program will now close. And let's click OK and get back to our routine. Let's replace the error description by letting the user know how many attempts are left. So let's copy and Control-V to paste. I'll make this variable B. Now let's add a line here. B equals 3 minus A. Let's replace this message. B space ampersimple, set a double quotation marks. And within that, I type attempts left. Let's just put a space at the front of that, and let's run our routine. Okay, so here's our first mistake. Two attempts left. One attempts left. Click OK. 
And third mistake, sorry, program will now close. Let's click OK. Lastly, let me show you what happens if we incorporate the if-else statement around this assignment statement. Let's copy all of this code. We'll just go to a new rule, add rule, OK, and let's paste that code here. Let's rearrange the code a little. Actually, to make it a little more obvious, let's place this line after the on error statement. And the rest of the if else statement, let's just select that. We'll move it up here. And let's run our routine. Create our first mistake, two attempts left. OK. Second mistake, OK, one attempts left. And OK again, zero attempts left. As you see, we're obviously going in a loop. Let's try it once more, minus one attempts left. OK, let's get back to our code and see what's happened here. So what we've got here is another example of a logical error. The program goes back to the line where the error occurred, and it keeps executing this line. It skips the if-then statement since it appears above the line where the error occurred. And this concludes our second tutorial about the on-error routine.